Okay, this is the perfect time to start this video because my garden gummy is kicking in. <laughs> I love that. I love garden gummy. I love any like secret name for like weed stuff, Ugh, like the Benjamin. I, it's just so funny. But anyway, yes. I don't know what has gotten into me, but lately, you know, I'm usually a blunt girl. I loved blunts, but I have been laying down and I think also my birthday passed. So I realize I'm getting older and I'm just like, oh my God, you know, I need to take care of myself better. But I've been laying down and I was like hearing wheezing and I was like, oh no, I need to like cut down on the blunts for real, for real. But my stimulation of choice has been a garden gummy, an edible specifically. Oh, I have to show y'all. I have to show y'all these. Okay, these these specifically now i think i haven't loved edibles because i haven't had edibles like these before these are live rosin i believe but i've had a few flavors of these when i've given these to other people they love them they work fast the high is just consistent like i don't know they're just perfect like and they're like dosed like it has the little milligrams for you in the back and it's just like cut in a little chunks like that right so i eat 20 milligrams of this and then i do a little caffeine a little coffee or a little a little celsius or something and oh it's like the perfect it's like the best it's like not too much it's like you're not slumped nothing it's like i'm like focused you know and i've started to realize like the reason i love weed so much and why i've been able to be productive while being a stoner for so long is because it helps me slow down my mind a little bit and focus you know but all products are different so sometimes it doesn't really help me do that sometimes it's like making me more sleepy sometimes it's making me more distracted so lately i'm like oh my god i think i've found like my combo this and a little caffeine i'm good then it cuts out the blunt for me and i'm just like coasting you know i'm gonna flow it puts me in a flow state isn't that crazy that's like for me so i don't know let me know what helps you like induce your flow state you know because it's like a it's a beautiful state to work in it's a beautiful state to live life in because you're just like coasting like i don't know how else to say it <laughs> but okay y'all let's start getting ready for today i'm gonna clip my hair back a little bit i recently asked on my instagram what is holding y'all back from starting your youtube channel or from starting your business the answers i got were i felt judged every time i attempted trying i'm scared people won't enjoy me or my content overthinking the hard work the process of it i get scared mental and creative blocks funds strangers being judged not motivated enough fear of being different which your different is like your superpower that's first of all but insecurities fear of being perceived failure embarrassment so many things right i have like two more pages i could swipe through of these same kind of an answers right confidence judgment not knowing where to start. So because I got all those answers and because I get a lot of messages from y'all telling me that you wanna start your own business or telling me that you did start it and it's doing well and I'm like, hell yeah, if I can get it. Oh, I drop things in every video, I feel like. But I get a lot of messages, right? Y'all are telling me you wanna start your YouTube channel or you know, you comment that I'm inspiring you to start your YouTube channel and I want y'all to. I fucking love how social media right now, you know, like people crave real people. I feel like I feel like TikTok has shown us that, you know, YouTubers, our favorite YouTubers. And honestly, like just the way that like you don't need to be this crazy huge fucking influencer to like make money online. So like that's also something that appeals like to so many people. We have UGC creators. We have like social media managers and stuff like there's a lot of ways to make money online or to just like make money on your own as a side hustle, you know, I obviously get the appeal because i'm out here doing it i'm pretty much living off all my side hustles i have a business with my mom it's a paint and sit business i have this youtube channel and i also do social media management because i've learned a lot in doing my youtube channel and my own social media like and doing it from a business aspect you know having to sell events and shit like that, book our parties and stuff like that. So I also help other creators and entrepreneurs, you know, grow their social media because it's just like free marketing. Hello. Like <laughs> these platforms are free. All you have to do is kind of crack the algorithm a little bit, figure out your audience, be really specific. And like the world is yours. Like it's at your fingertips. Literally, you know, you don't even have to leave your house. I mean, like that's the phase I'm in right now where I'm like, I don't want to have to leave my house. I want it to be on my time, you know? And I finally have fucking gotten there, but there's so much I have learned along the way that I'm like, oh, I need to share this. So I'm gonna share some of my journey and some stuff that I wish I knew from the beginning because I feel like I, I don't wanna say wasted a lot of time, but I've just gone through a lot of like trial and error, you know? 
And I feel like if in the beginning I had someone to tell me this and to be like, I don't know, a mentor, like I'm really glad that I have a mentor now. But in the beginning, I was like, you know, just at YouTube University and whatever. And it's great, you know, that we could learn so much online. Obviously y'all are doing it right now through YouTube uni University um, watching this video. But all the advice out there is not always like the realist, you know, and it's hard to find like the people who are gonna be like extremely real with you and that may be sharing advice that's like a little bit different, you know? Cause there's all kinds of videos on branding and stuff like that and all of that is really true, but there's so many other parts of the journey I feel like that are kind of, I don't know, not a little bit spiritual, yeah. A little bit just personal development, you know, evolving as a person that you need to do that, um, you know, are not always talked about as much. So my journey started right before the pandemic when I was working at a tax firm job and I was just like a receptionist. I was like a clerk. And I feel like that's a little foreshadowing because like <laughs> at that tax firm, we like specialized in like Latino businesses, you know? So a lot of our Clients were like from East LA, Montebello, Downey, whatever, you know, all these areas. And then like later I would have a business in these areas. So it's like, oh my God, <laughs> how fucking funny. But while I was there, I would like listen to a lot of podcasts and you know, I've always watched YouTube since like fucking high school and stuff. But at this point I hadn't even taken no steps to start a YouTube channel. It was just this like thing in the back of my mind. My real journey started with my art, right? So I was working at this tax firm job and when I would come home, I started painting. And then I realized I was like really good at fucking painting. And I was like, oh shit, like, <laughs> I mean, it makes sense because my mom is an artist, you know, but I had never really painted like that. And at this point too, I maybe had just dropped out of college, I think, but I was going to college to be in like communications. I was going to Cal State LA, but I just, I was like, I can't, like, this is not what I want to do. And I don't want to waste any more money, you know, pouring into this until I'm ready. And I don't know. I kind of feel like maybe soon homegirl might go back to school, but you know, I felt like at that point in my life, no, I, that, I couldn't just keep going to school. Like I, I wanted to figure shit out for myself. Like I just saw how much like debt I was going into and I was like, yeah, no, I'm not going to continue doing this. So uh, especially because I didn't even, I wasn't even sure what I wanted to do. You know, I was just doing the shit that everybody told me I was good at. And you know, I was like, okay, I guess like, I, I'll do it. Like I'm fucking 18. I don't really know. <laughs> so working at this tax firm job, right? Listening to podcasts. I start kind of listening to personal development things. And then I find out, you know, that I can paint really well. I had always loved to draw and stuff. I was always drawing in my classes and whatever. And I've always loved art, but like, I didn't know that like I could paint like that. So once I started painting, I started posting it on Instagram. I started selling commission work to people in my city, people outside of my city, you know, I remember like shipping things across like the state and I'd be like, oh my gosh, like what the hell? I can really make money like this. And I did, I started kind of just doing commission work, right? And that became like my side hustle is my artwork. So once I started painting, then my mom is like, why don't we, you know, start a paint and sit business together? And we started selling paint kits. And then, you know, when the pandemic hit, like we started selling a lot of paint kits, like because people needed something to do, you know? So we were packaging those and stuff. And then after the pandemic, we kind of had things running with our paint and sit business. So we were able to like get booked, you know, for a lot of parties and we were hosting events and stuff because I kind of feel like people, you know, craved community and they craved things to do. And I don't know, we just fulfilled that need, you know? And it was, it was like the perfect timing for it. So it was like right before the pandemic when we had like started the paint and sit business, we had hosted maybe just a few, a handful of like events, you know, and sold like paint kits. It was like right around that time that I saw that, okay, this could actually like be something, you know, like, oh, you actually can make money on your own, you know? And I knew it's like what I wanted to do. And I just knew I did not want to be in a nine to five. I did not want to be at a desk all day. I mean, I'm kind of at a desk all day at my house, you know, but at least I'm home, you know, like, I'm not like, I don't know. It's not to talk down on that job because I actually loved it while I was there. You know, my coworkers were really cool and shit, but like just, it was not the lifestyle that I wanted to live, you know? And I was like, I can always come back to this if I need to, right? Like I can try and I can fail and I can always just come back and get a clerk job and work my way up anywhere, you know? But like, I wanna try. So what I did is I got a part-time job instead so then I could do part-time. And this was with the city of Los Angeles. I was just a clerk and I, I worked in the mornings, but then at least I had the rest of my day to figure shit out, you know, and to grow our business and to grow my YouTube channel. So starting that paint and sit business, like it helped with like two things, right? Like 
One, I realize I can make money on my own and there's not really a cap on it, you know? And it's fun. And I don't know, it just like showed me it's really something that you could do. But at the same time, you know, when I had started, I was still doing that commission work that I had told y'all about with my art. So I was like, painting a lot for other people, right? So I wasn't really able to paint for myself. So I was like, oh my gosh, like it's, I have to pour into this paint and sit business because at least this is a way that I can like share art with everyone, like share art with the community, share art with everyone, right? Like every everybody could paint in our paint and sips. We've done kids to, you know, elders. So it was a way that I could do that and like give back in a way that like I didn't have to sacrifice so much time and energy that I would into painting commission work of portraits of people's family and stuff, you know, because then I didn't have that time and energy to paint things I want to paint, you know, like I love painting like artists and I just, I love creating, you know, I, I want to get more expressive with my artwork, but it's just hard, you know, because of how much time it takes to paint a fucking portrait and trying to make a living at the same time, you know, on top of trying to work out and do all the things and be a friend and be a friend, like, it's just a lot, right? So like the paintings of business was like, oh my gosh, like, at least I can not have to rely on commissions as that side hustle and I can turn that over into the paint and sip and rely on that more, you know? And also during this time, I feel like a lot of things just spawned out of this time. Also around the time that we started the paint and sip business and then I had got that half time, the part time job, right? So that I could kind of do two things at once. Then I started my YouTube channel and this, came out of a really hard place in my life. You know, I was dealing with grief. I just needed somewhere to go. I was dealing with grief in different ways. You know, I have a friend who passed away and then I had like a ex best friend that like we had stopped being friends. And I feel like both of those things just kind of fucked with like my sense of reality and relationships and friendships and stuff like that, you know? So um, I kind of wanted to like create a space online where I could have a safe space and it could be a safe space for other people. And, you know, we would just smoke sesh and like chill and hang out and whatever. And that's what it's become. And I'm so fucking happy that like y'all are here. Cause you know, I like, I knew back then, like I'm going to find, oh, it's going to make me cry, dude. That's actually crazy. Cause like, I think about like recording videos in my car and I'm just like, oh, back then, like I have, I had no idea, but I had faith and I had hope and I had a vision and I'm so happy that I'm like carrying that out. You know, I'm actually starting to see the fruits of my labor, you know, it's at the very beginning, but it's like, at least to know that like y your efforts are, are doing something, you know? So anyway, I started the channel, right? I'm like just being kind of consistent, uploading a video a week because I was so focused on, you know, our business and just trying to fucking survive and figure out what I want to do with my life as a career, career wise. Um, because I didn't really consider YouTube to be that, you know, or at least I didn't really understand how it would. I just thought, oh, one day I'm going to have a lot of subscribers. And then like that can be, you know, my main source of income that that would be the goal. And then I can paint whatever I want, whenever I want, you know, and I don't have to rely, rely on commissions and all this kind of stuff. Anyway, I'm just like posting once a week, but I didn't really understand like branding and having a personal brand online and you know, how you can actually make money online. It's not just buy your subscribers. There's a lot of ways that you can make money online through affiliate marketing, through sponsors, through ads, through your own products, through there, there's so many different ways you can do it, you know? And I feel like oh, if I would have been more strategic, strategic in the beginning. I feel like ah, just things that have blossomed so much better, but it's okay. You know, you learn along the way. I'm here to fucking share these lessons with y'all and hopefully it helps y'all. And then that is how it's worth it for me. <laughs> but, um, oh, I have to just say, I got this baked blush at fucking Sally's and it is so beautiful. Like every time I wear it, I'm like, oh my gosh, it like brings me to life. And it's so summery. I love it. But okay where are we? So, you know, I'm growing my YouTube channel. I'm working that part-time job. While I'm at that part-time job, I'm like, oh, now I can't even stand being here in this office and having to drive here, you know, like, because I'm starting to see what I could make with the paint and sit money. And I'm like, okay, like, you know, you really can make money, you know, offline. Now I have to say my biggest problem has always been spending that money. Cause I feel like I didn't grow up with a lot. So now when I make money, I'm like, oh, I want to fucking use it to like make up for experiences or whatever. But anyway, that's just a side note. <laughs> that's another lesson for another fucking day. Yeah. I'm starting to get like fed up at that job and I'm like thinking, okay, how, how else can I like make money 
instead of having to rely on this job, you know, what other kind of side hustle can I do? I was also at this time learning more about YouTube, learning more about business, learning, learning, learning through YouTube and reading things and just, it's it's been a whole journey, right? Doing my fucking personal development work and whatever. So like I start seeing how social media is so important, right? I start seeing how making like a personal brand online, you know, is like kind of having like digital real estate, right? This audience that you build, the engagement that you have, like it's things that businesses are willing to pay for to get in front of eyes. And even if it's not another business, it's like for your own business, how, how important that is too, you know? So either which way. Anyway, I'm learning. I'm starting to think of YouTube as like, oh my God, you know what? Maybe I can really do this. You know, I'm seeing my shit grow. I'm like, maybe this is something that I could actually build a platform and fucking make my main source of income one day, you know? And that's still the goal. That's not what it is right now. But in even having that goal, I've been able to identify that like, hey, you know, I, cause I'm also a really realistic person. I'm like, what? And I'm just open to shit, you know, too. So I'm just like, you know, what if I don't end up li liking to do that, right? What if it just doesn't work, right? What if it just doesn't work? What if just God just says, this is not for me, you know? But maybe making content for other people, right? Or for your fucking businesses, like maybe that's what you're meant to do, right? Like you like to create things, you like to make videos, you like, to learn about fucking marketing and shit like that, like, and communication. So like, why not consider that as a job, right? So I'm like, okay, I've been able to make money, you know, with our paint and sit business. I've learned how to make social, like manage that social media account so that like we can get sales and so that we could get, you know, whatever tickets sold or whatever paint kits sold, whatever the fuck. At this point, I was like, okay, I could build a YouTube channel. I've had a few thousand followers at that point or subscribers. So I put a little resume together and I applied for a fucking social media management position because I'm like, this at least is something more free, you know? It's something where I'm more in charge of my fucking hours. I'm able to be creative and I don't have to fucking be anywhere, you know? Like I don't have to report to a job all the time at a desk and like, especially a job that I didn't like, I don't know, I just wasn't, I, I, would, I didn't feel fulfilled, you know? I just feel like it's my one life. I want to as much as I can feel like I'm like doing something. And you know, with social media management, I do feel like that because I'm helping a creator and business owners, you know, like I'm helping like real, people like build things that give back to the world so or that like provide a service right or something they just it provides something to the world and like not that obviously i'm not do i wasn't doing anything at my old job but like i kind of really wasn't <laughs> i was just scanning things and like putting in numbers and i just felt like I'm too creative. I just need to do something creative, you know? So I'm like, all right, let me fucking get this social media management job. That way I can have more time to build my YouTube channel and to build whatever fucking side hustles, you know, I need. And that's kind of like where I'm at today. Now I'm kind of like in this whole, now I mean like, I'm, I'm such a homebody, y'all. I'm such a fucking Taurus. I'm like, I don't want to have to be anywhere. Uh, <laughs> So even though like we've been able to grow our fucking paint and sip events, even with those, I'm like, how do I like not have to rely on that too? So I've been kind of like trying to come up with a plan to like rebrand and push more of our paint kits. That way it's more so just orders. I could still have the same team who helps me with the paint and sips, you know, help me package and ship orders. So that's not a thing. I have help, you know, it's just been a thing of me stopping and taking the time to add all these paint kits to our website and shit. Yeah. So like, this is where I'm at today. I have the time freedom that I've wanted. I'm not living this like picture perfect fucking life, you know, dream, dream life, but I'm definitely like on the way. I'm able to make some money online. I know how to run a business, you know, and make money through a business. I'm able to have some time freedom, you know, and not have to report to a freaking office anywhere, like and just do social media management and create content for businesses and other creators, you know? And that's also something that it's not really that much of a cap on, you know? The more smarter and efficient I am at doing it, the more accounts I can manage, right? I started off with just one and now I have a few under my belt. So it's kind of something that I can stack upon, you know, as well. But yeah, I'm just like, so happy to be in this fucking phase of my life, but there's been so many lessons, okay? So it has not been fucking easy. Um, I think that 
I might have done things prematurely in the beginning, but at the same time, it's like, you know what? That kind of lights a fire under my ass and everything happens for a reason. But if I were to give like advice to my younger self, you know, I would say be really intentional. Like you need to have a fucking plan, you know? I think I was a little naive in the beginning and I, and I just started things, starting things was never my problem. Like it's just thinking about the real execution, how much energy things would take, you know? What would it really mean to scale this, right? So like with my commissions, when I was doing art, like it was like, I would have to do so many to sustain myself, at the same time, try to grow myself as an artist and all this stuff. Like it, it was gonna take too much that I didn't wanna invest in, so then went to the painting steps, right? Now, even like the, the events, you know, we were hosting like an event every week at one point. I was doing private parties. I was doing public events and that I was like too much energy. Like I don't want to have to be places, you know, and I'm just like carrying around this heavy stuff. Like it's a lot of energy that at the end of the day, I feel like is not helping my big, big goal, you know, of wanting to be a fucking content creator, or at least just make money easily online somehow. Right. I use digital marketing for that business, but like the base of the business is a service in person, right? So through trial and error, then I learned that. Now I'm trying to kind of restructure that that business and like have a majority of its income be uh, like easier online, you know, just packaging things up and, and sending them basically. But in the beginning, I feel like I just thought like, oh, I'm gonna like start this and it's gonna be great, you know? <laughs> and I didn't think about really what it would take to fucking actually like sustain that and if I really wanted to do that and I guess it's kind of like you don't know until you try but like you could definitely sit down and have a little intentional ass planning and like reflection session with yourself you know ask yourself what really would the steps be to make this work you know how how would I scale this what would I need to sustain myself like there's just a lot of things in the beginning I just did not really think about intentionally and I just kind of jumped into and I got lucky that things worked out in ways but then i've also been very unlucky in other ways so it's just like if i were to start all over from the beginning i would have done things more intentionally you know something else that i've learned is that things take time there's no like get rich quick like i mean if you want to do things honestly in an honest way you know that doesn't mean that you can't see speedy results like i said if i feel, i feel like if i would have been intentional from the get-go and known the things i know today i would have been able to grow so much quicker and whatever but whatever trial and error right there definitely is like strategies you know that you can implement to make yourself grow faster but overall it's like a fucking journey you know it's it's long like it's a you have to be patient you have to be resilient you know especially if you're trying to be a business owner some months may be better than others like you can, you have to just kind of look at things in the bigger picture and not always be living like right right in the moment because like okay let's just even say for like youtube right you start making videos and you know that no one's watching but like you can't be really living and making the video from that place you have to be making the video from the place of when someone else is watching it you can't worry about when like like, hopefully it's right now <laughs> but you know when you post it but like that's not always the case so you have to like make the video kind of keeping that in mind that like right now like you just can't base your whole decisions like off of right right now you have to be thinking about the the long term the goal you know because if you're just too focused in this part of reality where you don't have the results then it's like you're not gonna do the things needed to get those results if that makes sense like you're gonna be like oh well no one's even watching anyway why even put out the video like no hello i had a very video go fucking you know kind of viral and i gained most of my fucking subscribers off a video that I, it was a year old at that point i was already a whole other person kind of i was just the, an, a, a little more evolved version of that person <laughs> but you know that shit didn't pop off till like a year later so you can't be doing shit just focusing on how life is right now and the in the results that you have right now you need to like commit to the journey and commit to just the trial and fucking error you know and humble yourself and try to find a balance of humility and confidence because that's how you learn and you grow i've also learned that you can't just sit around and like look for results and just wait on results i mean it's good to stop and reflect and see what's working and what's not but like you youtube again i'll say i i can't just like post one video and then just like sit and wait for people to subscribe and like it and whatever i have to just post the video and start thinking about the next one you know that's how you keep on going that's how you 
stay consistent. Of course I come back and I look at the likes and I read my comments and reply and whatever, but like I can't just every day be looking at my analytics, every day looking at my analytics, you know, and waiting and waiting. No, put in the work. <laughs> Put in the work and then you'll see the analytics and the results, you know, turn, turning that shit into results like you want. <laughs> um, I have also learned that a lot of the time, the reason people quit or don't see like the results that they want is because of that lack of consistency um, and like marketing and understanding marketing. I feel like, because I know so many creative, talented people, but I think it's just like the marketing. And even myself, I'm not even saying I have the best fucking marketing. I'm just saying this is something I am learning along the way and that I have learned. <laughs> but you know, honestly, there's like a fucking audience for everything. You just have to be a fi find a way, marketing, to get yourself in front of the eyes of the, that audience, you know, and kind of think like them and think, you know, what what kind of spaces are they in? What kind of things do they like? What kind of conversations do they like? What songs even? I don't know. You know, there's so many things, <laughs> but a lot of time it's like, it's not that you're not interesting. It's not that you're not talented. It's not that you're not whatever. It's just that you don't know how to market yourself, I think. Oh my God, I almost poked myself in the eye. I have also learned, I don't know, I just feel like I keep going back to this, but like, dude, your intentions are just, I feel like the biggest, most important part of the journey, your why, you know, that's what's gonna keep you going. But like, it's also gonna keep you in alignment and on track with getting your goal and not getting sidetracked, you know? You, ha you have to really think about and consider how much energy and time things are gonna take you and what you would have to sacrifice for it and whether that's really worth it for you or not, you know? And to each their fucking own. Like, there's no like right and wrong answer, you know? It's, everything is subjective. Like, it's just matter. It's just about like what's important to you, you know? Cause I would love to like, okay i was like so into you know our paintings at business that i was hosting these events every weekend and a private event a public event you know but it wasn't even it wasn't in alignment with what i really want in life because like i don't want to have to be out all the time on the weekend you know like i don't want that <laughs> i really don't like that's so why am i pouring so much into it part of it yes is because i have to pay the bills but part of it i feel like was just because i wasn't being intentional you know and you know i was just kind of taking time for granted a little bit. I really, I really feel like this past birthday has like made me really realize like how quickly time passes and how intentional you need to be with it and how precise, you know, I feel like my, my theme for this year is precision. Like I just, mm, precision in my routines, in my fucking everything, you know, I just want to be precise. I want to be clean with it. Like I just want to be like moving hand in hand with God, like <laughs> and with God's plan for me. Cause at this point I'm like, I know better. I know, I know now, you know, it's not to say I, don't, I know everything. I'm going to learn so much more, you know, this year, but at least for where I'm at in life now, I know what I got to do. I know where I want to go. I know for the most part what works and what doesn't for now. And I just need to trust myself, you know, and like commit to myself and commit to that. Okay. This is like my daily makeup routine for the days I wear makeup. Okay. It's simple. It's cute. It's clean. It's fresh. I love it. You know, I feel like I've been doing my makeup pretty much the same for a very long time. I've just changed like little tiny techniques. Like these lashes I've been loving. They are, let me see, I think I have the box. They're the Kiss. Ah, oh, look, they, they were on this. They come in a little pink, thing. but they're the Kiss natural lashes and they do, they look so natural, right? Like most people don't even know that I'm wearing them, but yeah. I hope that this has been helpful for y'all. I am going to be dropping so many more gems on my journey, things to help y'all with starting your YouTube channel, your business, anything that I can in that field. I already share so much content about like confidence and mindset and stuff. And I feel like those things kind of go hand in hand. So definitely follow me on Instagram, TikTok. I'm trying to be more consistent on there. You're also able to answer like any of my polls or like question things I put up on Instagram. Like I said, I'm trying to help y'all. And there's so much that I wish like, like in the beginning I would have been intentional with and I would have been like this much quicker than my fucking results, but it's okay. It's part of my journey. So I could be here and I could, I could help y'all, right? Homegirl energy. Ooh, you know what I'm missing? I'm missing some fucking earrings. Hold up. Speaking of homegirl energy, what the fuck? Okay, these are cute. Ooh, and I'm starting to need to go pee. So let me wrap this up. But yeah, I'm gonna be dropping so much shit to help y'all out because it's really fucking dope. It's really fucking dope being able to have like 
time for yourself and to see your shit grow. And I really wish that upon you. If it's in your heart to do so, you know, you made it to the end of this video and you know, you've even clicked on it and you're interested in these things. Like I really believe that like, it's our job to carry out those fucking desires, you know? I feel like God, the universe, whatever, doesn't put things in our head for no reason, you know? We have these wants and desires to like create shit in the world for a reason, and I think it's our job to carry it out. So, any way that I can help y'all do that, I am here. I'm also actually gonna be making a course. I actually started on it already, and it's gonna be cheap as fuck, don't worry, because I've also, oh, this could be a whole nother video, but I've also seen like a lot of people in the digital marketing space and I feel like something going on is kind of scammy and I'll explain it in another video. But um, yeah, there's like courses going out that are really fucking expensive and I feel like you don't need to do all that. <laughs> well, maybe, it just depends. Uh, I'll go more into detail, but yeah, I got y'all. Like we're all trying to fucking win out here, okay? I need to go pee. So yeah, I love y'all. I can't wait to see y'all in the next video. Thank you so much for sharing your time with me, your ears, your heart, like even taking into consideration anything that I have to say. I really appreciate y'all for that. And I really hope that you start that fucking YouTube channel or you start that business or you start showing up online because once you do and you, look, the beginning is the hardest, but once you start see the results, it is so rewarding and it is so fulfilling and it just like makes you see that like sky is the fucking limit. And like, once you could do one thing, it's like, oh, I could do something else, you know? I'm, I'm so confident in like switching my fucking businesses around because I'm like, oh, if I could sell this, I could sell this, <laughs> you know? Like if I could sell a ticket to here, then why can't I do this? If I could get one person to subscribe, why can't I get 10,000 people to subscribe? You know, like that's just how I think. And I feel like once you start putting things into play and you see that for yourself, you'll be like, yeah, she was right. Like you're, you'll know, like you'll know. I'm, And I'm sure you probably already know that off of things you've done in life already, you know? This is just another one. Starting that YouTube channel, starting a business, whatever the fuck, it's just another one. But be intentional, okay? Whew. And I have the intentions of relieving my bladder. So <laughs> I love y'all. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.